All right, hi guys, it's Nicole. I'm at Goodwill at the beach. Came to the beach for a day with our friend Corey, their family, and now we're gonna go inside. Des is in a parking lot on his phone. Hello. We're gonna go into the Goodwill here, see what we can find. Corky's not getting a cart. He's gonna want me to share my cart with him. I'm gonna tell him no. Hey, Joe. What's up? I love you. Yeah, I love you too. Bye. Okay, time to source some shoes. I love shoes. Shoes are my favorite thing to source. I don't know why. I don't like listing shoes per se, but. I love sourcing them in the store. I think it's because they're all laid out and so it's easier to see right in front of you. I should have used the wide angle lens, but I did not. 1299s for some very old Stuart Wiseman's. Let's see, Cabin Creek, we don't want that. Let's see, what's that? Ooh, Sorrell's, so $7.99, hello. Yeah, you can come home with me for sure. Get in my cart, I'll take those, thanks. We love a good pair of Sorrells. Allegria. Ooh, 20, that's too much. Too much for me. I'll probably sell those for like 35, so. Let's see, what else, what else? Oh, oh my gosh, I was so excited. I've never found this brand in the wild before. Veronica Beard, a pair of gorgeous mules, you guys. Look at these. <gasps> and they were $7.99. That is definitely something I was so excited about. Um, and when I found those, I got really excited because I was like, okay, there's gotta be more good stuff in the store. If I found those, definitely going to find some more goodies. So Sam Edelman sandals, those were a no. Let's see. What else am I going to find in the shoes? Torrid. Those are cool. What are those? Those are campers and they were like brand spanking new. So I grabbed them, put them in my cart. Uh, Zara's cute, but too expensive. Those are cool. You can tell they're well-made leather. They were 20 and I don't remember what brand they were, but I don't think I grabbed them. They were nice though. What are you? I'm trying to figure it out. Anyway, they stayed behind. Okay, what else? What else am I gonna find? Dun, 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 dun. Those cute little Sam Edelman flats. We went ahead and passed on those. Oh, I like these. These are ASOS and they are just a like double buckle Mary Jane. Very, very edgy looking. I did not get them. I'm guessing because of price. Uh, here we go. I've I've switched to the wide angle, which is so much better to film shoes in because you can actually see everything. <laughs> okay, here we are. What else am I going to find? Not too much. The store was very, very busy. So um, that is one thing I had to keep in mind when filming. I try not to film other people in the store. I just think it's kind of rude. So for me, um, I don't go down aisles if there's like other people already in them. Very cute. I put those back. As you saw, like I'm telling you what you're actually just seeing. <laughs> I will say that this was a good trip, you guys. I got some of my best stuff that I've ever found at this trip. Donald Pliners for 15. I put those back. Those were cute. They look a little scuffed up though, so. And technically, I was not sourcing this month. Like, I'm trying not to source all of August for the most part. But this was just a special. This is like the only time I've stepped into a Goodwill for the full month of August. I'm very proud of myself. Releasing my Poshmark course. Um, you can still sign up for my Poshmark course. It releases on the 28th. And I do have a special code. If you put in the code Nicole, it will drop the price down to $25. And I am putting up 50 codes for YouTube. So you have a chance to still get it. You guys, these $20 Sorrel boots 
let me tell you, these are one of the biggest Sorel Bolos. The, uh, what is it, like Joan of Arctic? No, that's not what it's called. Anyway, that particular style can sell for even used $150 to $200. So I was shaking, shaking when I found those. <laughs> so excited. All right, digging around still. Um, but back to the course, I'll put the link down below. Make sure you use Nicole at checkout. I did 100 um, of the coupons for Instagram, and I'm going to do 50 for YouTube because I know that there is a different audience. So um, go ahead and use that code. You get it for the $25. Course releases on the 28th, and then the price goes up. It's going to go up to um, $100 on the 28th, so I'm very excited to release this. Anyway, I'll stop blabbering about it. You guys are probably tired of hearing about it, um, but it's very exciting. I have the full syllabus up now on Instagram. You can see in my highlights, there's 150 lectures. It's going to be great. Okay. Back to this. Those were cool dance goes. I'm surprised I didn't grab those. Dance goes and me, we don't have the best relationship. We are very, very hit and miss in our relationship. So I didn't grab those. What are those cool red boots over there? What are you doing, Nicole? Hmm. I filmed this a couple weeks ago. So it's like going back in time for me and trying to remember exactly what my mindset was. I think that those are cool toward shoes. Didn't grab those. Those are zero grams, but they were beat up. Just like these uh, Birkenstocks, $12.99. Did I get those? I might have. Birkenstocks are actually pretty easy to clean. Um, the floor bed you can clean with like some vinegar and toothpaste. There's like a mixture that you can mix together and clean. I'll have to make a video about it. Um, but the footbeds of Birkenstocks are actually pretty easy to get cleaned up. So as long as the rest of the shoe is in good condition, you can get that you know footbed cleaned up. These Fly Londons were so cool, but for $40, gonna have to pass. These are the expensive shoes. 35 for Miss Moose. No. Uh, Frango Sartos. They're probably like $50. <laughs> they always have the expensive shoes on the end cap. But sometimes I'll buy them because sometimes there's gems. Like if those Sorrells would have been 50 I still would have bought them. All right. What am I finding? New. No. Colhan Zero Grams again for 40 Going to pass on those. I don't like that style. The men's ones do really well in my opinion, but the women's are hit and miss. Okay. We're in the white and cream shoe section. Ooh, loving these. Yes. $12.99. Those are cute. Not going to get them. I would pay like $4.99 for those. They probably sell for $25 to $30. Um, another pair of Kohans, but I love these. However, look at how wrinkled they are. Do you see the top of the leather? That wrinkle is really hard to get out. And, you know, for a fancy dress shoe, you don't want to have a wrinkled shoe. So I will pass on them if they have that deep crease. These are cool Marc Jacobs, right? And this isn't Marc by Marc Jacobs. I believe these are the actual um, Marc Jacob himself shoe, which so cute. Loving those. Did I get them? I don't remember. I hope I did. I should have got those. That brand sells really well. I think they were just too beat up, so I passed on them. Now the question is, did I get those Marc Jacobs? Tell me. If I didn't, why? <gasps> I didn't! Okay, fine. It's fine. Sometimes I'm sure there was a reason. I'm just going to leave it at that. Who knows? Marc Jacobs is super hard to sell. It's not, you know, what it once was. Ooh, love these. Yes, these Sorrells are so cool. I went ahead and grabbed those and put them in my cart. I'll do a full haul video of what I actually bought and what I put back. Um, it will be the next video I put up this week. So make sure you pay attention for that. Some more Sorrells. Lots and lots of Sorrells at this one. Um, there was a, I think there's like a store that sells Sorrell nearby is why. And Sorrel's really popular in the Pacific Northwest. Is it popular everywhere? I'm not sure. Definitely popular where I live, though. Ooh, loving these Madewell sandals. Okay, I'll grab you, put you in my car. I think they were really inexpensive, too. I didn't see the price tag, but... Okay, I have a cart full of shoes. Let's go check out the dresses, shall we? Okay, dress section. Me and you are about to become friends. Let me get all up in you. See if we can find some cute dresses. I was trying to be like pretty particular about what I bought. So I zoomed in so you guys could kind of see the tags as I flipped through really fast. Remember, I have my family with me and I know at any moment they're going to come over and be like, Nicole, it's time to go. 
and I have Corey. My friend Corey's was with us. Our families have been, um, we have been, what is it, like, kind of quarantining together. We took a family vacation together, and, you know, his daughter is the same age as my daughter, so, like, it's the one family that we hang out with, um, and we're both pretty safe about what we do and all of that, so, anyway, Corey's basically my brother, and it is what it is. So, yeah, we were on a beach trip, so. We've taken three little trips together this year. So far, it's been really nice. So we went to the beach, we went camping, and we rented um, a like, house near a river. Why am I telling you all this? That dress was really cool. Why did I not stop and look that up? Huh. Okay, fine. Sometimes I look back and I'm just like, what am I doing? That's something nice. You can tell by the lining. And I just went ahead and just passed that right on by. But I stopped. Oh, Paul and Joe's sister, they can do well. Um, that Hula Moon is cute, too, by Jams World. For 10, I think I passed. Um, Paul and Joe's sister, they have some prints that do really well. They have, like, a lot of cat stuff that does really well. I don't know. Three people for 20. That's a no for me. Oh. <sighs> Oh, Revita. This was good. This was a good find. I was excited about this one. I put both of those in my cart. Um, super nice. Really well made. Um, I think it's like a smaller designer, but that was a good find. And I'll talk more in depth about the stuff I bought in my next video. So just bear with me while we, while we hunt. This is how I hunt. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Not really finding much, but you know me, I'm just going to score, scour, score. <laughs> I'm going to scour the store until I find a score. Woo. Scour, store, score. Say that fast. It's very hard. Scour, score. Nope. Can't do it. I can't do it. Scow, scow. No. Give up, Nicole. But don't give up on looking. Let's see what else we're going to find here. Oh, I like that. I didn't like it enough to stop and get it. Victoria's Secret, just like a mesh piece of fabric, basically. <laughs> oh, LuLaRoe. No, no, no. What are you? Ooh, Warehouse. That's a good, I believe. That was really cute. I really, really like that dress. And then, oh, Proving Connection Long Dress. Yes. Fresh produce. It was way too peely, so I've left that. Uh, Dorothy Parkins. That can be good. It was 22 and I did not like the print enough to purchase it. Part of it is, like, knowing brands, and then part of it is just, like, I have to like something to buy it at the end of the day. And maybe that's not the best business model, but... I don't know. I trust my gut at this point. Dip. No. No, 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 no. What's that? What are you doing? Paint your nose, Nicole. Oh, okay. Ooh, Ralph Lauren Blue Label. What are you? I, I didn't like it enough. Oh, I like this Free People dress. It's older Free People, but there was something about it that made me put it in my cart. I do. So something I do pretty often is I actually will like go into the free people section and um, in the sold and sort by like high to low and look at what's actually like still popular and still, you know, a piece that people are looking for because there definitely is certain pieces that people are searching for and it's good to be aware of that. So, you know, when you're sitting on the couch doing nothing, look at the solds on different brands and see what people are buying. Tip of the day. Tip of the day. Tip of the day. Okay. $30. I want you guys to notice something as I'm flipping through. There are tags that end in 99 cents and there are tags that end in zero, zero. You'll notice the ones that end in zero, zero are higher priced. And I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about what happened here and why this was such an amazing situation. Um, and why I was able to find such good stuff here. I should have bought that hutch dress. Oh, I did not. Buy. Oh, did I? Did I, did I put my heart? Uh huh. Look at me. I don't even know what I bought. I've had this stuff sitting um, in an IKEA bag for the last couple weeks, waiting to do a haul video for you guys. So there's that. 
What is this? What is this? I am going to find out. Nope. Nope. I gave up. I hope it wasn't exciting. Okay. But like I said, I know my family is coming for me. I know they're coming and they are going to be like, Nicole, it's time to go. What are you? White and Warren. That's a good brand. Put that in my cart. What color is half off? I don't even remember. Okay. Let's see. What are we going to find? I'm so annoyed with you right now. <laughs> I can't believe you guys tricked me. I just found, I found, um, some crazy stuff. Sorrelsa? Tons of Sorrel. Okay. These are also, oh, these are really good. These are really good. These are really good. These are rare. Yeah, these are rare. Those other ones are rare too. Oh, uh, they're missing the car. Oh, I didn't see that. I just you can pull hard. these off. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look them up, but. They're good. This brand. These are campers. Look at how cool those are. Yeah. People were thinking like in your mind when you saw well him wearing a yogi. This brand is super, super hot right now. Okay. I've never seen this one. I've never they, found they it. They kind of go with that. They have these jackets that sell like for a, a lot. I've heard of the. I think I've heard of the brand. I just don't. I don't know if I've ever seen okay. the shoes. Where, what did you think when Cory um, put on the mask and he talked to you? Well, I got scared. Outdoor support package, food, water, medical blanket. Oh, look at you, the rollover. Where is he at? <laughs> this is cute. This brand is definitely a good brand. But $40, I looked at comps and I just couldn't justify it. I don't think it would move fast enough. I was really sad to leave it behind. Uh, it was a hard one, but I left it behind and I'm going to keep sourcing it through the store and see what else I can find. All right, time to go to a new section. I have decided, off we go. Where are we gonna go next? Let's see. Dun, 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 dun. I'll get distracted by something for sure. Ooh, I like these basket weave Sam Edelman's. No, why? I already looked through the section and yet I can't help it. I can't. Come on. Okay, I see a new rack. That's where I should be focused on. Go to the new rack. It's right there. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Am I gonna do it? Ooh, okay, I got there. Man, sometimes I really wonder about myself. Like I know the rules. The new rack needs to be hit first because no one has touched that stuff yet. And that's where I always find my best stuff. So it might be a lie though, because I clearly wasn't finding anything. I think that might've been a go back rack and I realized that. So I'm gonna go to the pants, which is also not my favorite section. I'm very confused about what I'm doing. You're gonna see how busy it was in there. Don't love that, but. Oh, I see. There was a rack of shoes that were just coming out. Hello. Okay. All right. What's in here? Hello. Campers that were brand new for $6.99, I believe. I think the tags were still on those bad boys. What are you? A pair of boots? I looked those boots up. They were not worth it. I think I put them on my cart to try and decide if they were worth it. But then once I did the research, I was like, oh, that's a no. No. Oh, those Adidas slides are cool. Or not slides. Those are not slides by any means. They are um, kind of slides. Those were 50. I put them back. Okay. 
Um, where am I gonna go next? It's available. I don't remember where I go next. That's my song. Okay, I'm gonna hit up the jacket. I was really hoping to find like a Veronica Beard jacket, you know, since I found the shoes. I can get lucky. I can get two lucks in one day. That's not unheard of. Uh, what? Why did I leave? Oh, I saw another new wrap. Look at those police line do not cross pants. Okay, all right. I found another new rack and I decided that I wanted to go check it out. All right, I'm gonna flip through here. See if I can find anything of interest and go from there. I remember, right, I found a couple, oh, there it is, marble. This stuff is super popular in the streetwear scene. So like anything marble, marble, it sells. I was at my um, booth in Solid Union and someone came in specifically asking if they had anything in the shop that was marble, which is weird to me, but okay, I bought it because I know it will make me money. Um, What else is in here? There's lots of weird vintage, which I don't find at my uh, Goodwills. Like they just don't even put the vintage stuff out, but this one was putting it out, which was kind of cool. Where are you? Oh, I think you're like a pair of overalls. Joe found the police line pants and was very laughing about it. Why would you want to wear pants that had that on there? Tell me. All right. There we go. That's what I found. What's over here? <laughs> At this point, the boys have come over and they said, Mom, we're done. We would like to do something else. We don't want to be in Goodwill anymore. And so they decided to go do some shopping at like the Nike store um, and they took off. So they said, we're going to go to the Nike store. When we get back, we want to leave. So get it together. Get your shopping done. So I knew that I needed to go. I knew I needed to go and that there was good stuff in the store. I just had a good feeling about it. So I have my little pile of stuff so far and I'm going to start digging and seeing what I can find. And there's not a ton of filming left here because again, I have to go super fast. Okay, so I'm back at the jacket and I'm gonna start flipping really quickly. I know now the heat is on, right? Like the pressure is building. The boys are giving me a time limit, which is so stressful. I hate having a time. Ooh, look what I found, look what I found, look what I, it's so funny. I would have found that if I hadn't bought, ooh, $40. So you see that double zero is showing up again. Like, okay, what is this double zero situation? Um, and so I'm starting to be aware that there's like randomly overpriced items. So this was really cool. This Love Liberty jacket. I liked it because it was um, lamb's leather. I looked at the actual body and lambskin is really really high end so I put it in my cart just to see if it was something that I would want to buy based on that so I if, some, if a fabric feels good I will take a second and look at look it up see what's going on with it oh hello I think that was a wild thing jacket but for $40 oof, I had to look up the actual one wild thing is a store here in Portland um, um I think they're in a couple other locations but they make really cool things. You can look them up. I just recently sold one of their jackets for a good amount. Let's see here. What else am I going to find? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you guys float through fast like this when you are time? time? Oh, I'm putting it back, I think. I think I decided in my head that 40 was too much, so I put it back. Okay, I said, no, this isn't going to work for me. Linen, that looks like linen. It passed on it. I must not have liked it. Ooh, what are you? What? You're a cool jacket. You're 20. Notice that double zero ending. Something is going on. I'm going to explain what it is. Um, so basically, the boutiques, we have boutique stores and they take all the high-end stuff and they put it in the boutique store well the boutique stores have not reopened since the pandemic and so they're having to redistribute all the high-end stuff that they would normally put at the boutiques into the regular stores 
And so what they're doing is they're doing that, but they're putting it as expensive um, with that double zero on the end. And I realized this because they missed a few of the items um, and they left the original tags on them. And that's how I figured it out. They left that like clear, they use a different color um, hinge on it. These pants, very expensive, very excited to find those. Like really excited. <gasps> Prada, hello Prada pants. There we go. I'll send those right into thread. Woo! So we spent $381 in there, which is crazy. Uh, but I got some really good stuff. Okay, my heart. I'll show it to you guys in the next video. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Woo! Wow. <laughs> okay. You guys, it was crazy in there. Anyway, thanks for hanging out. Goodbye. No, goodbye. Car is very full. So cool. <laughs>